So let's head to Premiere here. So if you have not already, you want to set a vertical resolution. So let me quickly show you how to do this. Simply click on sequence here and then click on sequence settings. And from here you want to type in 1080 in the first box. And then you want to type 1920 in the next box. And then you want to match the frame rate to your original footage. So if you watch on your clips down here, you can see that the frame rate for my clip is 30 FPS. So I will just leave them at 30 and all the other settings here are good. Now simply click on OK. And then you want to confirm and click on OK. And if you're using horizontal clips like me and they're not shot on the phone, then simply select one of the clips. Then go up to the effects control. If you can't see the effects control, click on window and then make sure that effects control here is checked off. Next up, simply go to the scale here and hover over this blue number. Click hold and drag to the right to zoom in like this. And then you can change the position here if you want to position it better in the frame. If you have a bunch of clips in your timeline, then this can be quite time consuming. So in that case, you can simply go ahead and right click the clip you have already zoomed in, then go to copy, and now simply select all the other clips, right click, and then click on paste attributes. From here, you want to check off the motion and the scale attribute times. You don't need these ones. And now click on OK. And if we go over these clips, you will see that they are already zoomed in. Once you're finished editing your video, simply click on export in the left corner here. And here you can see that we have to make some adjustments. So first up, you want to give the file a name. So a good idea is to call it something related to your topic. In this case, it's high quality export. Then set a location by clicking on this blue link. This is where you will find the file once it's exported. Next up, you want to set the format here against H264. And then simply open the next tab called video. And here you want to click on match source. So if I click on match source, you can see that the video here in the preview is now vertical. This is because we just matched the sequence settings we set before. And also you can see here the frame rate and everything is correct. So next up, simply click on more. And now to get the highest quality possible, check off the render at maximum depth and also check off the use maximum render quality. Also, if you can, you can use the hardware encoding. If you can't see it, that's okay as well. And now just scroll down until you get to the bitrate settings. The first setting here is the bitrate encoding. So you can see that you can either choose the CBR, VBR1 pass or VBR2 pass. I recommend going with the CBR to make sure you have a high quality throughout the whole video. If you want to export a smaller file size, then you can choose the VBR to save some space. But since the Instagram video is quite short, I don't see the point here. Next up, you have the target bitrate. And this is an important setting for a high quality. After doing a bunch of test uploads for this video here, I found that setting it to 30 is the sweet spot. If your frame rate is 24 to 30 frames per second. However, for a 60 frames per second, you might want to increase it a little bit. The most important thing when doing this is that you don't set it lower than the original footage. So here is one of the clips I'm using. I can simply right click it in Windows and then click on Properties, Details and you can here see that the total bitrate is 5400 kilobits per second which is the same as 5 megabits per second in Premiere Pro but since TikTok is compressing the videos quite a lot I recommend that you set it a bit higher as I found out that the 30 was the sweet spot for my clips but let's say your video is 40 megabits per second originally, then I recommend that you set it higher than 40 as well. Next up, for this format, the audio is already good. So then you can simply go here, make sure that you're exporting the entire source. And then you can see under output, you can check that all the settings are correctly set. 
If you want, you can check out this article here and just make sure that all the settings looks like this and then you're good to go. I will leave a link to this article in the description. And now you can simply click on export. And once it's finished, you will find the file where you set this location. And lastly, to upload it to TikTok, you can simply head over to their website on your computer. Then log in, click upload and you're good to go. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and thanks for watching.